I will say you made two of my favourite rom-coms of the last decade. Oh wow! Oh, Five-year engagement and uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall, which oh my is a gosh. classic. Thanks so much. Thank uh, you. You had a great collaboration with Jason on those two projects. Yeah. Tell me about working with Billy on this one, because I know it was a few years that you guys have been trying to make this Yeah, we this worked right. on this. This was probably five years start to finish. It would have been a normal length of time, but the pandemic happened. You know, we were going to shoot it in March of 2020, and obviously everything got delayed, but this got delayed by a year and a half. Um, it was awesome working with him. You know, he'd never written a movie before, and... I'm straight, I didn't know about the gay experience, and so we kind of, I taught him about what I know about making movies or writing movies, and he kind of explained to me that, all about the LGBT community and talked about his, his love life and his friend's love life, and we kind of just, it was a many year process of kind of, kind of a therapy session of the two of us just talking and talking and talking and making this thing, it was really fun, it was really fulfilling. Tell me about the, the marketing for the movie, because the poster is just fantastic. How many versions of the poster did it take for you guys to settle on what you were trying to, to put out there for the audiences? You know, they came up with a poster that I think is the international poster in some places that's a, a, that's Billy and Luke in, in tuxedos kind of with their arms around each other. It's a sweet, it's a very sweet poster and we were like, this poster doesn't capture the movie, like it doesn't capture how funny the movie is and how like edgy it is, I guess. I don't like using that word, but if you know what I mean, it's like a, that's a very funny movie because there's the there rom there romantic comedies that are more romantic than comic. I think this is so funny that we wanted something that captured that. Um, and then they came up with this poster and we instantly loved it, you know, and it was pretty early on in the process. Yeah. I mean, there's been a, a, a lot of rom-coms these days seem to be going to streaming and, and there's a bereft of them in the, in the marketplace. But with this film, the George Clooney, Julia Roberts film has done quite well. How important do you think that place is in the marketplace for rom-coms and comedies in general? Because it seems yeah. that they're slightly dying breed in theatrical releases. It's really sad. I, like, I can only speak, of it, speak about it from a fan's perspective. I just love seeing comedies in the movie theater and like laughing hard through a movie. and. Um, to not have that in a movie theater. I mean, it's really nice to see romantic comedies at home and people watch them over and over and over again at home. And m all movies, for the majority of their lives, are at home, not in a theater. Um, but it, you miss out when the only things in theaters are superhero movies and horror movies. You know, it's really it's a really great human experience to laugh at 500 people. So, and you get to bring it to the UK and on a on a global scale. How excited are you guys to to share it outside of the the US? Um, it's uh, it's fantastic. I mean, it's been amazing. You know, it's really fulfilling to watch an international audience laugh at stuff because I'm like, will they get these references or does this play outside of like our home? And like to see like, you know, we played at the Rome Film Festival and to see an Italian crowd laughing at this movie was like crazy. I did not expect that. And they were like, they were laughing from the beginning of the movie and that was really cool. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!